Hi, it's Gwyneth on a fabulous Feel Good Friday, helping you to nail your personal brand so that you market yourself magnificently every time. Now today I'm sitting in a bit of a cloud, so I thought I'd put on a little bit of sunshine, given my, my usual pink away today, and I've got something yellow on, just to kind of brighten up the day a little bit. And I want to talk briefly about ego and self-praise, because that three little word ego has just got such a bad, bad reputation. You're egotistical, you're big headed, his ego is too big, we talk about ego as if it's a very, very negative thing. But the fact of the matter is, you need your ego for your personal identity. Now, I've looked it up in the Oxford Dictionary, and I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read it, so I can tell you exactly what the definition of ego is. It is a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. And it's the part of the mind that mediates between the conscious and the unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. So you need, you need your ego. It's as simple as that. But there are a couple of ways that you can manage your ego. That's the key, managing it instead of just going into overdrive. If you're in a discussion or maybe even an argument where you know you're right about something and you're getting so Cross, that you want to prove your point and you want to make the other person look bad, there's a good chance that your ego is going into overdrive. There's too much of it going on. There's too much of the self-esteem stuff going on. If on the other hand, you're looking at other people and saying, wow, they're so clever. Wow, they're so successful. Oh my God, she's so glamorous. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. When you're telling yourself those things, then your ego is not strong enough. So again, you need to be able to manage it to bring it up so that you have this sense of reality. Now, how can you do that? Well, as I've already explained, if you're in overdrive and you're getting really, really cross and you want to be right, you are going to notice inside, you're going to feel something inside that you need to just calm down a little bit. When it comes to having to boost your self-esteem again, you need to stop comparing yourself to other people. Now, just imagine you were the only person on the entire planet. Would you be happy with who you are? You might be a little bit lonely, admittedly, but you'd have nobody else to compare you to, and so you would just accept you for who you are. It's exactly the same with ego. If you stop comparing yourself, your ego will be more balanced. If you stop comparing previous situations to your current situation, your ego will be more in balance. For example, if you're doing a presentation and you're already telling yourself, I'm going to be nervous, I'm not good as other people, I'm not as good as other people, and you're dampening down your ego, you are comparing what you believe happened previously. So stop comparing, because you're not a fortune teller, at least I don't think you are. And every moment that you live is a new opportunity to do something different. Okay, it's a little bit deep maybe for Friday. But does that all make sense? I hope it does. And the next time you think about somebody being egotistical, ask yourself as well how you can better manage your ego. You need it for your identity. You have to, you have to love yourself. You have to love your ego and just manage it um, properly. So here I am helping you to nail your personal brand so that you market yourself magnificently on a fabulous Feel Good Friday. I wish you an amazing weekend, loads of love, and I'll talk to you again soon.